You know what broccoli tastes of? Nothing. It tastes of absolute nothing. How's your broccoli? I can't, there's no words. Apart from nothing, it's empty. Time of the board, a-hole here, and look, the new year is approaching, and we all know what we do in the new year. We start making New Year's resolutions, we start wanting to get in shape, we start looking how we're going to sort out our diet, how are we going to get biceps bigger than your own head, and you soon realise it's actually really hard. Now, we are going to do a video about New Year resolutions on either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, because that stands to reason, but before then... This article was brought to my attention from Women's Health. Now, it made me laugh. It made me chuckle to the point. I thought, you know what? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through it. It is called the best, the best, the 30 best low carb snacks according to nutritionists. That should get you quite excited because carbs, don't forget, carbs are your mortal enemy. If you even eat one carb, even if you smell it, all of a sudden you get massively fat. We all know that's true for the people that aren't aware of sarcasm. That is not true. Carbs are absolutely fine. I'll tell you why you shouldn't keep away from them because one day you will go back to them because you're a human being and your body won't know what the hell is going to go on and you will put on a bunch of fat. That's one of the reasons this stupid cliche comes from. However, straight away it made me laugh because the tagline is bring on the cheese. So you're like, man, this article is going to be ridiculous. But the first thing I want to talk about is according to nutritionists, and then you read the sort of the blurb beforehand and it says according to one nutritionist a snack might be considered low carb might be considered low carb if it contains under eight grams of carbs and then another one another nutritionist says the low carb can vary from person to person so that's two nutritionists so it doesn't count as all of them and also they've just contradicted each other so it makes no sense anyway we're gonna go through each and every one because i'm sure these are some foods that are being thrown in your face every single day and we will actually determine i'm sure they're going to be low carb but we'll actually determine whether they should be part of a staple diet so in number 30 we have raspberries and the opening sentence is raspberries are tart you're like great and then it goes on to say they aren't sugar bombs no, they're fruit. And then it goes on about fiber, and then it goes on about everything else, and then just throws in there. They've got a bunch of nutrients, but also they have not a lot of carbs in there. I mean, that is true, but the reason you should be eating fruit is because fruit is good for you and has minerals and it has nutrition. You're meant to have five pieces of fruit a day, as we know, not because they're low carb and you want to sneak them in there. So again, a fact straight away, but do you have to eat raspberries? That's the problem with articles like this. It now sounds like you must eat raspberries. You don't have to eat raspberries if you don't want. It's not going to make a difference. And then we hit the wall straight away because in it 29 is Crunchy Power Fuel Paleo 7 Nut and Seed Butter. Now look, if you are going on some kind of ketogenic diet or some kind of you know high fat, no carb diet, then this is fine. But these articles never explain to you or never underline calories in peanut butter and all kind of nut butters are mad. They are so, so high. So you're trying to lose weight by getting rid of carbs and you're not paying any attention to calories. And then all of a sudden you come across stuff like this. I mean, they do talk about how it's got healthy fats and high and, and fiber, even without excess carbs. But then in the macronutrients, which it's got right below, it says right there, per serving. And per serving in peanut butter is like Gerald the fitness mascot's nose. Look at that. Look how small it is. You can't look. You can't eat that. Ugh, fur. Puff, disgusting. That's really horrible. But you can't eat that and get satisfied. It's tiny. So that's like a serving of peanut butter, and it's 180 calories. 180 calories. There are so many other things you could be enjoying for 180 calories. Man, that's really ruined me. For 180 calories, there's nothing wrong with peanut butter, but you have to be careful with peanut butter when you are dieting. Because again, it has crazy, crazy calories. Unless, of course, you're still in a calorie deficit. That is also the problem with all these articles. They never talk about that. And it talks about being vegetarian friendly. We were mentioning low carbs. The next one is broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> so, so far, you're eating broccoli, hop, hop. Then you're eating raspberries, hop, hop. And then you're eating, what was the other one? A bunch of peanut butter. Actually, quite a nice meal if you throw it all together. But broccoli, like a low carb snack. How mean is that? So you were eating, no wonder people give up on diets. You were eating crisps or chips for my American friends on Friday. Then you started your diet on Saturday and someone went, you got to eat a bunch of broccoli now. Of course you're going to stop. You know what broccoli tastes of? Nothing. It tastes of absolute nothing. How's your broccoli? I can't, there's no words. Apart from nothing, it's empty. We then got something called peckish eggs, which by the sound of things, is just a pre-made hard boiled egg. So why can't, why can't just have hard boiled eggs? I don't know. But again, if you're having the egg with the yolk in it, you're going to get a bunch of fat. Again, per serving, 170 calories and 10 grams of fat. Nothing wrong with this. Nothing bad with it. Eggs are amazing. You should be eating eggs as much as possible. But I don't think anybody is eating eggs. for. It, just, it doesn't make sense. It's just bizarre. Next one up is Greek yogurt. As we know, Greek yogurt is absolutely awesome for you. It's got a bunch of protein. But it also, it's not like carb-free. Like even here it says per serving, you get eight grams of carbs. And didn't this person earlier say that was on the precipice of low of low carb anyway? So now we're on the tightrope. Like, oh, I'm having Greek yogurt. Maybe my no carb diet is going to be ruined. You can absolutely have 
Greek yogurt. I don't know where this stuff comes from. And someone recommends it, topping it with cinnamon for extra antioxidants. Hands up if you've ever gone, I'm definitely going to use cinnamon here for my antioxidants. Hand goes down. In fact, if you did do that, if you said that to me, I would think you were a psychopath. Coming in next is original grass-fed beef jerky. Beef jerky is really good. It's high in protein. does have some fat in there as well. It's just like eating red meat on the go. That's what it is. It's accessible red meat, if you want to call it that. I just, it, this is just really random stuff they're pulling out here. Like, why couldn't you have put in, I don't know, some chicken? I bet chicken doesn't come up in the low-carb fuse. And I understand that it's snacks, but you could cook some chicken and you could, you could cut it up. Or I bet there's some chicken you could probably buy in a service station that's like this. It just feels so random. Have some of this? Okay, what next? Do a dance in your underpants, and then you know you're being conned. And here's the real reason. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. They then suggest that you have creamy peanut butter and sea salt protein bars, but they actually throw in a brand there and say, shop now. So that's prop. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating. I'm just guessing. I'm going to assume they did this article because there's been some kind of advertisement or some kind of brand some kind of brand deal there also they have 17 grams of carbs the opening of the article said that anything over eight grams of carbs counts as high and not low carb so why is it in there in fact it has more carbs in it than anything else what is this it's got 11 grams of fat and it's got 40 15 grams of protein and it's got 17 grams of carbs but it's called a protein bar it's like me saying i'm an alien what? I don't know. <laughs> then it's avocado. And av Nobody is snacking on avocados. I have avocados, but I have them as part of another meal. And I advocate for avocado. That's a nice little thing. If it was running for mayor, it would probably get in on that tagline. Healthy fats, good for your cholesterol, good for everything else. No, no one is going out there. We should do, but we don't. No one is going out to the park with their mates. They whip out their sandwiches. So whips out hop. Half an avocado. Did you take the big, weird, round ball out? No, I've swallowed it. Now i got to go to the hospital. Then we have muffin tin eggs. I'm just going to read this one. If a hard-boiled egg isn't your jam, what the hell is wrong with you if you're like, oh, hard-boiled eggs aren't my jam? All right, Dave, let's stay away. Goldberg recommends, that's the nutritionist, not the wrestler. <laughs> Do whatever Goldberg said. Goldberg's going to <laughs> Recommends F filling scrambled eggs in a muffin tin and baking them for a portable, mess-free snack. Chopped veggies like spinach and artichoke are optional, but highly recommended. You're not going to do that for a snack. If you've got to put something in the oven for a snack, chicken better be in here. Because that is as much preparation as chicken. You have to make the scrambled egg, then you've got to put it in a muffin tin, which is a bizarre thing to do. Then you've got to cook it. That's not a snack. That's making a meal. Green bell peppers. Following that are green bell peppers. A green bell, these are just fruit and vegetables. People don't want to eat fruit and vegetables as snacks. They just don't. It's why they give up on diets. Because they see everybody else eating chocolate bars and Skittles and Haribo, and they have to whip out their green bell pepper and feel like they've made some terrible life choices. My other, it comes around again, like I was saying, the dang bar. Dang. And I bet it's the same kind of thing. So again, it's a low carb snack bar and it's got 210 calories you can get protein bars for less than 210 calories and it's got nine grams of protein 16 grams of fat and 11 grams of carbs so once again we came up with this stupid solution that it was eight grams eight grams of carbs or less and now we're just breaking it and apparently these keep you full and have naturally sweet flavor due to the coconut so if you're having a sweet craving these can be your savior even though you're just having carbohydrates and then they just tell you to eat some seaweed just have some seaweed. Like, if you want to have flavoured seaweed, this one's been roasted, good for you, if you like it. But this is no way you're going to live your life. You will for little bits, but this is making out like carbohydrates are, again, the worst things that ever happened. Like, they're going to pop up from the ground and swallow you whole. And it's just not true. There's just no balance, man. We need some balance. <laughs> Watermelon! <laughs> Watermelon. Watermelon! Right, this one sent me ballistic. So obviously, I'm seeing them before I talk to you about them. A chocolate chip cookie. Now, this is a chocolate chip cookie. It's called a fat snacks. Low carb, sugar-free, keto. It says made with cocoa, butter, eggs, almond flour, and zero sugar. Thanks, Stevia. Like it's someone that's just come around and delivered your mail. These low carb cookies won't raise your blood sugar. And we weren't discussing blood sugar at all. Just say carbs. Here's the thing. Eight grams of fat, seven grams of carbs on the precipice, uh, two grams of protein. But it has 90 calories, right? 90 calories. Do you know how much a uh, normal, ordinary cookie has? 75 calories. Why don't you just have a normal, ordinary cookie? I can't remember what they're called now. They're in a red packaging. I'll make sure they flash up on screen. My brain hates me. They are 75 calories. Or you can have your disgusting <laughs> fat snacks cookie. 
<laughs> that won't taste like a cookie and you can add those extra 15 calories. Just saying. Shrimp. Shrimp is super low in calories, so you can eat a large portion without hitting your carb limit. What? <laughs> it's super low in calories, so you can eat a lot without hitting your carb limit. That is like me going to the hairdressers and asking them to wash my feet. <laughs> what does that even mean? They're now just pimping out low fat cheddar cheese. Like, there's something called light 50 sharp cheddar cheese, which I'm going to guess is low fat cheddar cheese. Low fat cheese is really good. I have it all the time and it is, it is, it is awesome, but it's still packed with fat, no matter which way round you want to go about it. And you should eat, you could eat cheese. Cheese is fine, but are you just going to snack baking some cheese? No, you want to put it on some bread. Surprise, surprise, the bread have carbs. A cauliflower flatbread. Cauliflower rice has become our de facto low carb grain replacement. Actually quite good. I like cauliflower rice. So no surprise, they taste great packed into flatbreads. I mean, it actually may be quite nice. And they do have a, uh, they have a picture here of where you can buy them. But I live in the UK. And I get these are US-centric articles. But I live in the UK, so what am I meant to do? I just got to suffer. I have to be fat, apparently. Because carbs, again, are, are all that are evil in the world. I've never seen anyone eating a cauliflower flatbread. Pumpkin seeds then come up. Which, I mean, you can do it if you want. They call it a metabolism-boosted cayenne. The metabolism-boosting cayenne is a total game changer. What kind of game are you changing? You haven't even told me. What are you talking about? Well, so no one's putting their hand out. Oh, 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 protein, protein seeds. No one's doing it. Ready to eat rock eye salmon follows, which I'm going to presume is just salmon in some packaging, which is actually quite good. I'm all for that one. I would eat salmon out of things. Some people don't like fish. I really like fish. And you've turned it into some kind of snack that I can, yeah, snack on as if it's like crisps or chips. Good for me. Then pistachios come into it, which is just nuts. And yes, nuts will always be the go-to replacement that people say. And they're good. But just remember, we've already talked about it. Same as peanut butter. Come from the same source. It's high in calories and it's high in fats. Just make sure you write it down. Jot everything down. See where you're at. See if you can get some pistachios in. That's all you've got to do. And also, they have 8 grams of carbs according to their macros. So once again, they should be in the bin. Following that is edamame beans. Edamame beans are also good. They're really high in protein, but they do have some carbs in them, so they really shouldn't be there. The only reason I don't like them is because they're full of soy, and soy just absolutely ruins me in many, many, many ways. Uh, you need to experiment for yourself to see if it happens for you. Uh, but I, personally, am never going to have an edamame bean again, and I would rather take my face and just stick it into a car barrel. We then get really weird, because they suggest grain-free gr what's the gr <laughs> egg white curls. Which are a thing, again, they look quite nice if I could buy them. And the explanation is not quite popcorn, not quite Cheetos. Didn't bring that up. These egg, and also not quite popcorn, as if popcorn's bad for you, it's not. These egg white based snacks curb all kinds of cravings thanks to protein, protein and healthy fats from avocado. One, 13 grams of carbs. Six grams of fat, six grams of protein, 130 calories. You know what? Throw them out the window. I, I can't even justify it. It's a carb snack. It's a carb snack and a list about low-fat carbs. What? Yes. This is the best one. This is the best one so far. Have a seven-grain crispy tender, which is chicken-based something, plant-based chicken fingers that are just filled with carbs. <laughs> We're just going round and round in circles here. Hey, man, here's this low-carb snack. What's in it? Carbs. What are you talking about? That's someone saying, here's a glass of water. What's in it? Hydrochloric acid. Wait a minute. Are you trying to kill me? No. You're not going to... I don't understand. Oh, who cares? And then we... It's hard-boiled eggs. That's the third time that eggs has appeared. We had eggs in a flipping muffin tin. Then we had eggs that you buy from Amazon. And now... You, just, you can't have three snacks on the same thing. That's not fair. We're breaking the rules. Then they just put cucumbers in there. They even say made primarily of water. Cucumbers help you stay satiated and add volume to a meal or snack. Lots of people do snack on cucumbers. But why isn't glass of water in there? <laughs> Low carb snack water. Low carb snack. Gerald the fitness penguin. Ain't no one going to eat you, boy. Don't worry. It's all going to be okay. But you may as well start doing that. Eat a computer. <laughs> what, what, what difference does it make? Let's just rock through the rest of these now because it's getting ridiculous. It's cheese sticks. Deluxe mozzarella style, which is just the same as the other cheese. So they run out of ideas. Ranch dip. <laughs> no one is going to eat ranch dip right out of the flipping pack. You need something to dip it in. Probably that cucumber we were talking about earlier. And then just egg. Oh my gosh. Egg snack. Egg, egg, egg is back for the fourth, the fourth appearance. And then frozen dessert, banana, coconut yogurt, which has 12 grams of carbs. So it's completely broken in their rule book to begin with. Olives. Olives are disgusting. Nobody wants to snack on them. And that's it. That's a stupid list. You see, don't buy into these lists. You just, it's absolute nonsense. I'm not saying there's not good ideas in there. And they're not things that you may be able to take away that you can actually 
actually put into your diet, but mostly it's just a bunch of gibberish made up. Someone just sat down there, probably typed in low carb snacks and put them in. They broke their own rule within like four, also eggs. The answer is eggs. If you want to get in shape, just eat a bunch of eggs, which is good. They're full of protein. They're really delicious, but that's it. There's no other snacks out there, just eggs all the flipping day long. And there you go. I like going through that. Thank you to the person that sent it to me. Now do like the video, share the video, subscribe, smash the bell, ding, ding. Uh, hit the other video on the screen so you can keep hanging out with the channel. I'd appreciate it. Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, merchandise, all in the description down there. Give it a click. See if you fancy. It doesn't cost anything to look, but more importantly, thank you so much for joining me on this fitness journey and I'll see you soon.